Welcome to the training center, Agent. Here, we'll teach you the basics of fighting and movement on the battlefield. With these basics, you'll quickly improve, ensuring that your first action won't also be your last. You can press the Show Goals key anytime during this tutorial, or the game, to display your current task. During your missions, you will often have to get through areas where you can't stand up. One example is this pipe. Crouch down and make your way through it. Well done, Agent. Open the door and enter the other room. Open the door using the switch located to the right of the door. Sometimes, you may not be able to get where you want without jumping over obstacles. If you take a run-up, you'll jump further. Now, get to the other side of the room. Well done, Agent. You can jump over an obstacle by approaching it and then moving forward during the jump. Some obstacles may be too high for a normal jump. To jump higher, draw your legs up during the jump by pressing Crouch Key. Jump over the obstacle and move to the next room. Well done, Agent. You will notice that in this room, there is a pool. You will not encounter water or need to dive very often, but you must be ready for anything. If you dive beneath the surface, the indicator for the amount of air in your lungs will appear in the bottom left corner of the screen. If the indicator completely disappears, you will drown. So, monitor this carefully. And when the amount is low, immediately swim to the surface and take a breath. In this exercise, you must swim underwater through a tunnel and emerge on the other side. We will continue there. <gasps> well done, Agent. You can move on to the next room. There is an elevator in front of you, which you must use to get to the next part of your training. To activate it, use the switch on the elevator that resembles a door. Climb the ladder and move on to weaponry training.
Before you enter the room, I must inform you that it is totally dark. Each agent is equipped for such situations with special night vision goggles. They have some power consumption, so use them rationally, and watch out the battery status indicator is in the upper right corner. The battery starts recharging automatically when the goggles are turned off. Enter the room and move through it. Don't forget to switch on the night vision immediately after entry. Well done, Agent. Good work, Agent. You've performed extremely well up to this point. Before we start teaching you weaponry, it's important that you evaluate your status following each encounter. In the bottom left corner of the screen, your health status is displayed. If this indicator decreases to zero, you will die. Try to avoid this, because we'd hate to lose a promising agent. Next to the health indicator, you can see your armor status. This is primarily the status of your bulletproof vest. The better the status of your armor, the less you will be harmed by enemy fire. The armor will degrade after each hit, so, if its status is critical, it would be advisable to start looking for a new bulletproof vest. Now, you may move on to the next section. Sorry about the little accident. There must have been some kind of equipment failure. There is a medikit in the box in front of you. In it, there is a special mixture of drugs that will immediately stop the bleeding and quickly recover your health. In front of you on the table is a Colt Commando and the ammunition for it. Move towards the table and pick them up. As you can see, an indicator has appeared in the bottom right corner of your screen which shows the ammunition status of your selected weapon and its firing mode. The indicator shows the number of rounds left in your magazine and your total number of rounds. If the indicator of the number of rounds is red, then it is time to reload the weapon. Do not go into a fight with a near-empty magazine if you can help it. Always load your weapon before entering a room, or you may find your magazine empty at an awkward moment, which could prove fatal. Destroy all the targets in front of you, then move on to the next room. Practice reloading your weapon and changing firing modes. Note that in the burst mode, you will only fire a few rounds in a single burst, but at a much faster rate than in automatic mode. One more piece of important information. If you hit the enemy in the head, in most cases, you'll be able to kill with a single shot. You must hit the body several times to make a kill, and hits to the limbs will only slightly wound your enemy.
Well done, Agent. You can move on to the next room. Some weapons, for example the FAMS in front of you on the table, have two firing modes. In this case, firing standard ammunition and throwing grenades. Standard ammunition is shot with the fire key, while secondary ammunition, for example grenades, can be fired using the switch weapon mode key. These types of weapons also differ because the ammunition status indicator shows both types of ammunition fired by the weapon at the same time. Take the weapon and try to destroy the targets by using both firing modes. When you have finished, move on to the next room. Finally, we're going to teach you to use a sniper rifle. With sniper rifles, switching the firing mode activates zoom mode, a telescopic sight which allows you to zoom in on a target, making it ideal for the elimination of enemies at a long distance. Take the weapon and try to destroy the target using the zoom mode. Excellent work, Agent. You've completed your basic training. You will gain further experience when you get into action. Good luck, and try not to disappoint us.
five minutes, it'll all be over and we can go home. In 35 seconds, we'll land about half a mile south of Quota 34. Hang on! Stop him! Wait! I'll go first! <laughs> 